Well, can anyone take up the PMP examination? Yes, provided one meets certain prerequisite. The prerequisite depends upon person's formal education, as shown in the table for bachelor degree holder. They have to have at least four thousand five hundred hours of project management experience, and for someone whose highest formal education is high school degree, it's seven thousand five hundred hours of project management experience. In addition to this, there is some requirement in terms of total number of years of work experience as well. For the first category, one has to have at least six years of total work experience. And for the second category, it's eight years. The three years within six years in the table means that four thousand five hundred hours of project management experience should have happened in the last three years of total six years of experience. Lastly, one also has to show proof of attending thirty-five hours of project management training. Just before writing the PMP exam, there are many project management training companies who are PMI, REP. Now, what is REP? Simply Learn is a global REP of PMI. PMI REP Training Institute means these training companies are registered with PMI as registered education provider. If you attend their thirty-five hour contact training. They give you 35 PMI contact hours certificate. You can use their certificate and submit that as a proof to PMI. Let me also inform you that one has to submit proof of everything, i.e., your educational degree, your project management experience, etc., to PMI while submitting the online application for taking up the exam. PMI randomly audits such submission from time to time, so if you do not meet the prerequisite and still go ahead and submit the online exam application, there are chances of you getting caught. PMI disqualifies such application. Also, once your online application for taking up the exam gets approved, PMI sends an authorization letter. You must write the exam within a year of getting the authorization letter.